This is a sports store called JJ Sports. They sell sports merchandise. Now, the Indian Premier League of Cricket was about the corner, which is commonly called as the IPL. So, IPL cricket matches were about to start. Hence, Raju decides to go to this store and he buys a t-shirt for 1000 rupees. So, this t-shirt is of one of the teams, which is the Delhi Daredevils. So, he buys this Delhi Daredevils t-shirt for 1000 rupees. Now, one of his friends, Vikram, was a big supporter of Delhi Daredevils team. So he was ready to pay Raju 1500 for the same t-shirt. So Raju decides to give it to Vikram. So he gives it to Vikram for 1500 rupees. So what we saw is that Raju goes to JJ Sports and buys this t-shirt for 1000 rupees. And he sells it to Vikram for 1500 rupees. Well, this 1000 rupees is the buying price of this t-shirt. That is, Raju actually bought this t-shirt for 1000 rupees or this is the buying price or you can say that this t-shirt costed him 1000 rupees. So, this is the cost price or the buying price of Raju. Now, Raju sells it to Vikram for 1500 rupees. So, this 1500 rupees is the selling price of Raju. He is selling this t-shirt for 1500 so 1500 becomes the selling price so the price at which you buy things becomes your buying price or cost price and the price at which you sell things is becomes your selling price now we normally call buying price as cost price that is preferred you usually call it cost price and selling price so now, rather than writing cost price every time or selling price every time, we abbreviate it as CP and SP. So CP is the common term which we call as cost price and we write SP to denote selling price. So what we see is that CP of Raju is 1000 rupees, that is he bought the t-shirt for 1000 rupees. SP is 1500 rupees, that is he sold this t-shirt for 1500 rupees. Now Raju had just 1000 rupees with which he bought this t-shirt but he got back 1500 rupees. So now he has 500 rupees more. That is Raju gained 1500 minus 1000. So Raju gained 1500 minus 1000 which is 500 rupees in this transaction. Gain is nothing but this 1500 is the SP which is the selling price minus this 1000 is nothing but the CP which is the cost price. So we can say that gain is SP minus CP. In this case we have seen SP is 1500, CP is 1000. So gain comes out to be 500. And this gain is what we call as profit. So this gain is what we call as profit. So what is profit? Profit is the increase in your selling price compared to your cost price. So profit is nothing but the increase or gain in the selling price compared to your CP. That is the difference of the two gives you the gain or which we commonly call as profit. So profit in this, in this transaction turns out to be 1500 minus 1000 which is 500. So 500 is the gain or is the profit of Raju. Now we have seen that Raju sold it to Vikram at 1500 rupees. So Raju's selling price, the price at which he sells it to Vikram is 1500 rupees. Now this can also be seen as Vikram is buying this t-shirt for 1500 rupees. Now the price at which Vikram buys becomes his cost price or his buying price. So this 1500 is also Vikram's cost price because he is buying it at 1500. So Raju is selling it at 1500. So Raju's selling price is 1500. But Vikram is buying it at 1500. So Vikram's cost price is 1500. So what we can say is that Raju's SP, that is Raju's selling price is equal to Vikram's cost price. Now Vikram was a big supporter of Delhi Daredevil's team. 
but what happens the delhi daredevil team doesn't perform too well in the ipl season and they were one of the low scoring teams so they could not make it to the semi final round and hence he did not require this t-shirt anymore whereas gopal was very interested in this t-shirt he really liked this t-shirt and so wanted this t-shirt so gopal was ready to buy it for 1300 rupees so vikram sells it to gopal for 1300 rupees so now vikram sells it to gopal but gopal is buying it at 1300 rupees so we can say that vikram selling price which is 1300 is also equal to gopal's cost price because gopal is buying it his cost price or his buying price is equal to 1300 so this is what we get vikram selling price is equal to gopal's cost price now let's look at vikram's transactions vikram bought it from raju at 1500 so vikram's cost price is 1500 vikram's selling price is 1300 that is he sold it to gopal at 1300 rupees so now let's calculate his gain gain or profit is selling price minus cost price now his selling price is 1300 rupees and his cost price is 1500 So thirteen hundred minus fifteen hundred, which gives me negative two hundred. So the profit comes out to be negative two hundred. Now what do you observe? That the profit is negative. Whenever the profit is negative, we call it a loss. It's not a profit; it's actually a loss. So this is termed as loss. And when do we have a loss? In this case, we observe that the cost price. is actually more than the selling price so when cost price is more than the selling price the profit comes out to be negative and we call it as loss so when cost price is more than the selling price it is loss and loss is nothing but negative of profit so loss is negative of profit we know that profit is selling price minus cost price so it is negative of selling price minus cost price now this would be minus sp negative negative gives me plus cp or i can write this as cost price minus selling price so loss comes out to be cost price minus selling price so profit was selling price minus cost price loss is negative of that that is it is cost price minus selling price further we know cost price here is 1500 selling price was 1300 so now i can say that loss is 200 so loss would be subtraction of cost price and selling price which gives me rupees 200 so loss is rupees 200 so rather than saying that profit is negative 200 what we say is that loss is 200 rupees that is in this transaction vikram actually suffered a loss he bought it for 1500 rupees and sold it for a lesser value and hence he suffered a loss so we have seen the transaction of this t-shirt Gopal bought it from Vikram. Vikram bought it from Raju. Raju bought it from the store, which is the JJ Sports. Now, further, JJ Sports too would have got it from some factory outlet. So, what we see is that every business involves transactions. Now, basically, what a business tries to do is they buy things at bulk for less prices and try to sell it for higher price to make profits. but that does not mean that every business is profitable we have seen that vikram suffered a loss similarly after the ipl season all those ipl t-shirts would be of no use so the shopkeepers might have to sell those t-shirts for lesser price or might incur loss in that case because the next year these ipl t-shirts might just change the design so these ipl t-shirts after the ipl season would be of no use and hence they might incur some loss so we have seen that every business involves a transaction and this transaction can either lead you to profit 
or loss. So profit and loss is very important. Now these transactions can be as small as you buying an ice cream or a candy or they might be as big as your parents buying a new house. But remember that the price at which you buy things is your cost price which is CP. The price at which you sell things becomes your selling price or SP. Whenever your selling price is more, you're making a profit. Whenever SP is greater than CP, you're making a profit. And the profit is the difference of the two, which is greater minus the smaller, SP minus CP. Whenever your cost price is more than the selling price, then it is actually a loss. And again, it is the difference of the two, which is CP minus SP. So that becomes your loss.